paint a room, it's nice to be able to take off the door. Because if not, you're going to paint this wall and then you're going to open the door and you're going to paint this one. And it just the door is in the way where if you just get it out of the way, take it off the hinges, take it into another room, you don't have to worry about it. When you're done, you put it back. How do you take that door off the hinges? If you do it all the time, it's a very easy, simple solution. But if you haven't, it can be a little complex. So how I do it, I take a nail punch and I take a hammer. The nail punch goes right underneath this hinge. I'm just gonna barely tap it, kind of get it loose. I'm gonna do it to the second one. Sometimes they've been on there for a while and they're a little bit stuck. So you just, just tap it just a little. Now, because the bottom one is so close, sometimes it's difficult to try to get your hammer in there and hit it this way. So simple solution there is just take your hammer and turn it sideways and just tap it. Always a good idea to have a, a little piece of paper towel or a rag sitting here because the hinges will have a black soot on them. Carbon that the, the people put on there to make them work better. Times it's just from them working so much, they just start to wear out and they get that black carbon on there. And that can be a mess. You can see it's on my finger right here. Anyways, you don't want to take those off, lay them down on your carpet, and then cause a stain. So always have something laying down there. So now that I've got my hinges, they're loose. I'm gonna grab the doorknob. You wanna make sure your door is closed. Okay, don't try to do this with the door open. Just go ahead and keep the door closed and it'll stay in place. So at this point right here, I'll pop that one out, the middle one, and the bottom. Now if you notice the door is staying in place, what I'm gonna do is grab the handle. I'm going to Turn the handle, open the door, and then the door will come off the hinges. There we go. Door is off the hinges. Now you can paint and not worry about it. What I always like to do, I will take my hinge pins and I'll put them back in there. Like that so they don't get lost. When I'm ready to put it back, I know exactly where they're at. So now the room's all painted, you're ready to put the door back up. What you want to do is make sure you got one of the pins in, and I always have it in my left hand, ready to go. I am going to grab the door, and I'm going to get it close, in position. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to concentrate on lining the top hinge to the top hinge on the frame itself. I don't care what's happening to the rest of them. I just want to line those up, concentrate on it, get my pin started, and the rest of them will fall in place. So I'll grab the door handle with my right hand. I will take my index finger and put it right underneath the middle hinge, like this. Lift the door up. Once again, just concentrate, concentrate on that top hinge. Get your pin up there. That's why you want to have it in your hand ready to go. Now, the rest of them at that point right there, just line up. You got your hinges close to you. Your hinge pins close to you. That one drops in. And then you just drop the bottom one in. Very simple solution. And then I give it just a tiny tap. Just set them in place. Ready to go. So that's how you remove a door and you put the door back up. Very simple.